Okay, let's take a quick look at your new teacher setup. What you see here is what you will have with a few um, minor changes depending on your building. You should have a large screen monitor. It might be a different brand, it might be a different color, but some sort of large screen monitor. You'll have your new teacher um, laptop. You can interchange this laptop with your Chromebook and go through these exact same steps. It'll work pretty much the same. You'll have some sort of setup of keyboard and mouse. The difference here may be you may have a wired keyboard and mouse, you may have a wireless keyboard and mouse. But for all intents and purposes, this process won't change too much. So you have your new laptop that you can take with you wherever you go, or like I said, you can also do this with your Chromebook. Here's how you can make all of this work together. On the left hand side of your device, either one, you'll have your charging point port. If you notice, mine's plugged in. I can unplug that, but it's kind of charging right now. I will also have a cord that looks like this. It's a USB-C and my charging cable and my USB-C display cable are exactly the same. The coloring of the cord may be different, but they're the same. I can plug my charging cord into my normal charging spot if I'd like to. And then to have display up on here, just down one slot from the charging port is another USB-C spot that I can plug that into. And that should click over onto my display. Now I have two displays that I can work off of. Some of you will be familiar with this. Some of you, this will be new. The second step that I need to do here is my keyboard. If I have a wired keyboard and a wired mouse, I will need to plug each one in to the USB. There is a USB slot, one on the left side and one on the right side. So you'll plug the mouse into one and the keyboard into the other. For a wireless setup, I have one dongle that I can, I can plug it into either side, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna plug it in over here and now I've got my mouse. So back to my displays here, when I open up Google on my laptop screen, I can then drag it up here and I can have multiple things going on if I'd like to. This is a change for some of us. Junior high, high school, you've had this. Elementary, this is a little bit of a change and it, and it could work out really nicely that you've kind of got two things to work off of. Now, of course, you can unplug these at any time and go wherever you'd like. As far as extending displays like this to make sure you've got the two different, there'll be a separate video for that that'll look at the settings on this. But I wanted to take a minute to show you um, how your new teacher set up and the fact that this can be moved wherever you'd like. The only thing that ties you down in your classroom to having this where you want is simply power for the monitor and potentially power for the, the laptop too. But if you got a full battery, you're good to go. As long as you can get this bad boy within range of the, the cord to plug it in, you can have this wherever you'd like. If you have a wireless keyboard and mouse, you can move around the room. Even if it's wired, there's no power cord for those two things. So you're good to go. This is how you can set up your teacher station within your classroom.